The Syrian opposition says it has complete trust in Qatar after its call to hold the Assad regime accountable for crimes. Visitors to Qatar will need mandatory health insurance. Stick around to find out more. Al Said Football Club turns up the heat against its former player. And finally, these two Uruguayan footballers have been penalized by FIFA for causing offense at the World Cup. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. A top Syrian opposition official said world power should follow in the footsteps of Qatar after the Gulf state threw its weight behind global efforts to hold the Bashar al-Assad regime accountable for the 2018 Duma chemical attack. The charged affairs of the Syrian embassy in Qatar told Doha News that the embassy has complete trust in Qatar's unwavering support when it comes to Syria, urging international partners to adopt the same position. Bilal Turkiya's comments came after Qatar expressed its full support on Saturday after a watchdog confirmed Syrian air forces were to blame for the chemical attack in Douma. And now, visitors to Qatar are required to have a health insurance policy as of February 1st. Travelers coming into Qatar must be covered by a health insurance policy from a registered health insurance provider that is recognized by the health ministry. For those with international health insurances, the policy must cover Qatar, is valid while traveling in the country, and was issued by one of the insurance providers recognized by the Gulf state. The drama is not over for Abdel Karim Hassan. Leading Qatari football club as said confirmed it would take legal action against its former player after the defender signed with the Kuwaiti team. The left back was dropped from Al-Said after rising criticism over his dedication to the Qatari football team following its early World Cup exit. Earlier this month, the player faced a list of repercussions, including indefinite suspension from club and country. However, he flew over to Kuwait shortly after where he signed with Al-Jahra club, sparking legal action from Al-Said. And in more sports drama, FIFA placed four match bans on Uruguay's Fernando Muslera and Jose Maria Jimenez as well as one-game suspension on Diego Godin and Edinson Cavani. The players caused a fuss at the World Cup after a confrontation with the referee during and after their match against Ghana. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.